Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Uh, today's headline from England, a story about David Miller and uh, British Cycling asking David Miller to mentor the under 23 men's team at their continental European base in Italy. David Miller will volunteer uh, and for the month of February and perhaps be asked to join the coaching staff in a more permanent and presumably paid position um, as a, a member of the British Cycling under 23 men's coaching staff. Uh, David Miller uh, did a two-year ban for EPO use in his career, uh, but since then has done everything in his power, I believe. Uh, he's been a model racer for many years in the fight against doping, and he's done everything uh, to find some reconciliation uh, for his past uh, mistakes as a doper. And uh, David Miller coming clean, um, admitting, uh, being sorry for, and trying to make restitution uh, throughout uh, his career. So I think David Miller's done uh, as much as any pro cyclist with a doping pass to uh, to reconcile himself to the sport. Um, so ethically, I don't have a problem with David Miller being paid by British Cycling to mentor the under-23 teams. However, I still don't think it's a good idea, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's not likely, but it's not impossible, that one of the riders would be positive for drugs. And then it would take an already controversial situa situation to an entirely different level. The magnitude of the controversy, if one of those riders was positive under David Miller's mentorship, it would be an absolute disaster for British cycling. I would recommend they find somebody else. And if David Miller, as part of his reconciliation to the sport, which is ongoing for any athlete that was uh, found to be using performance enhanc enhancing drugs, volunteer through the club system, go to the clubs all over England, all over the world. Uh, I would be you know, willing to wager that quite a few clubs would enjoy having you speak about the dangers and the temptations uh, of taking drugs and, uh, and racing bicycles. Um, so honestly, British cycling, um, I would be surprised if you couldn't find somebody um, just as well qualified that was not involved in a dro uh, drug doping past. And as unlikely as it is that a young athlete uh, from British Cycling would be caught for drugs, we do have an example. Recently, um, Gabriel Evans, the under, excuse me, junior national time trial champion, um, found to be in possession of EPO. And if that happened when David Miller was uh, coaching him, which it very easily could have. Gabriel Evans on the fast track to EPO use, presumably on the national team as a, under, as a junior um, national time trial champion. If that controversy would have happened when David Miller was coaching, it would have been way worse than it already was. And so British Cycling, uh, if you're watching this, uh, please find somebody else and David Miller. Keep on trucking. Yeah, I got the utmost respect for David Miller, and I think he's done a lot to help the anti-doping movement. And, but I just don't think this is the right fit. I would love to get the comments you people have uh, on this. Any feedback you can give. Should David Miller be allowed to work with the young athletes and be paid, presumably, by British Cycling? Or should he find another way to reconcile his past in cycling with the anti-doping movement of today? Thanks for the comments. Please keep them coming. And please subscribe.